What's up, guys? I'm Anthony, and welcome to Life with Anthony. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope you all are doing well out there and having a great weekend. So, guys, I finally, finally made it happen. I am getting off of night work. Yes, finally getting off of night work. Now, you might be wondering, did I get the job at the grocery store, or am I keeping my job? And the answer is, I am keeping my job. Now, let me tell you guys how it came to be that I got on second shift. Yes, I'm going to be on second shift. Not next week, but the following week. I'll be starting second shift. Now, the way that I got the position was, I knew, that it, was a, I knew it was a position available because the day side road tender guy, he became an operator, which left an opening for a road tender on day side. The guy that filled that opening came from second shift, was a road tender that came from second shift. So that's how a position became available on second shift. And I knew that. So I went into the office one day last week uh, and I asked the second shift supervisor just out of curiosity, just more or less to confirm that there was a position available. I asked him, he said, um, yes, but they gave the position to another guy who was a stacker operator and now became a road tender. He said, but check with the day side supervisor and see if you have more positions seniority over him because then you would be able to get the position before he would. So a couple days went by and I was really hesitant because they already had given the position to someone else and I didn't really want to make them have to go back and backtrack and tell him that he can no longer have the position, that I now want the position, and I have more position seniority over him, you know all that. You know, I'm just too thoughtful at times. I am. I'm too thoughtful of other people, but after I thought about it for a couple days, I said, you know what? You know what? I gotta look after me. You know? I cannot say, oh, oh, that's okay, he can have it since you guys already gave it to him. And that was my initial thought process. And then after a couple days, like I said, I thought about it, I was like, I have to look after me and do what's going to put me in the best position for my upcoming going back to living in my car. So after I thought about it, I stopped in the office and I spoke with my day side supervisor who was in charge of all supervisors. And I asked him, once again, just to confirm, and he told me, yes, there was a position and that I can have it if I was interested in having it. And he once, he also said that, you know, we already gave it to so-and-so, but you have more position seniority over them. He, then he said to me that he didn't think to ask me because he didn't think that I would want it. And that's the mistake that he made. Before he gave that position to the other guy, he should have went around and asked everybody that was qualified or had more position seniority than over this guy if they wanted it and then, you know, offered it or gave it to him. But no, they went ahead and just gave it to him and made him a uh, road tender. And now this guy has to go back to being a stacker operator. But I, I'm not going to be concerned about that, you know. But yeah, guys. Oh, second shift. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get out this apartment and uh, start living in my car again. And being on second shift, it was the best because when I was living in a minivan, I was on second shift. So it worked out so well because I went to work from 3 to 11. I got off at 11, head, my, head over to the parking ride, went to sleep. Woke up, the library opened at 9 o'clock down in Maryland. It opens up at 10 o'clock here. I went to sleep and, you know, woke up whatever time, head to the library, spent some time there. Then I went to the gym, got my shower in, and then I had lunch, and then I headed back to work. So it, it just worked out so perfect. And I'm just so excited that, you know, things are falling into place like I would hope that they would. And... Being on second is definitely, definitely going to make uh, my living back in my car less challenging as if I was on any other shift. 
especially third shift, you know, trying to sleep twice before you go to work while living in a car. This way, I can sleep through the night, I can get up and have a normal day. Because, you know, when you are when you are day side or whatever, you, you have a normal day. You get off from work and you don't go back to sleep. Well, that's how it's going to be for me. I'm going to get up, get up around 10, you know what I mean? And then do what I got to do, go to work, you know, without needing a second nap or a second sleep. I'm, I'm so excited and I'm starting to ramble, but I'm about to end this video. But... It's coming together, guys. It is coming together. Yes. Yes. It ma it's making me more and more excited to, to get out of this apartment and start saving my ducats and so I could be making some bigger moves in the near future. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And... I will see you guys the next time. Yes. Mm.